Welcome to the Raider Reaction After Hours Party. Please form an orderly line to the right. The doors will be opening soon. Thank you for coming to the Raider Reaction After Hours. Yes, ma'am, this is invitation only. We will be checking IDs. Lions to the right, please. Lions to the right. Yes, sir, line is to the right. Door doors will be opening soon. Thank you for coming to the radio reaction after hours. Please, invitation only, and we will be checking identification. No, ma'am, you will not be allowed in if your name is not on the list. I, I don't care how big of a fan of Raider Reaction you are. You will not be allowed in if your name is not on the list. So, ma'am, please. You don't need to show me that. I've seen those before. Please, if your name is not on the list, you are not getting in. Line is to the right. Line is to the right. Please, guys, keep an orderly line, guys. Let's. The doors will be opening soon. Let's keep it under control, please. The doors will be opening soon. Thank you for coming to the Raider Reaction After Hours Party. Line is to the right. Yes, sir. Very, very soon, sir. Coming to you live from Hardcore Challenge Live Studios. Deep behind the enemy line. This is Raider Reaction. After hours. What is up? Raider Nation and One Nation Live. What is up? What is up? So, I've already been on, obviously, for... For four hours already this week, giving you all the Raider news, all the league news, pretty much everything we've got for the, uh, you know, the, a week in the middle of July when there isn't a lot of news. So, like I like to do every night when I'm on here, uh, late night Thursdays, every week on One Nation Live, we come at it with a totally different format. Because we're not... You know, you, you've got the news by now. You, you've you heard it all. You're up to date. You know what's going on. So now we just want to... Just talk silver and black with the nation. Anybody that's out there, I give you two forms in which you can join the show. Because the after hours is exactly that. It's Raider Reaction After Hours. I've already done my show. I've been off for an hour, and now I'm coming to just sit with you after the show, viewers, fans of the Raider Nation, and just kick it and talk some silver and black. Whatever's on your mind, whatever topics you have, whatever questions you have, because trust me, if it's a question about the silver and black, if it's a question about the team, the offseason, the season, whatever's going on, 
I've already dug into every small little nugget that there is. So instead of you digging into it, you can just come to the after hours, sit down with the commish, and shoot away. And I'll answer whatever question you have. To the best of my abilities. And we can discuss whatever you would like to discuss. So, there are two means of joining the show. You can go old school way and you can use the exclusive call in number for Raider Reaction After Hours. And you can call into the show. You will be plugged right in. I mean, as soon as I answer, man, you're on. So, jukebox, I will check as I always do. Don't worry, my brother. So, if you want to use that, I'll throw it up several times during the show, but that's the number. Save it, log it. You can use it every week on Thursday night. Okay, so if anybody wants to call in. Now, if you want to join via video and slide in split screen into the Ultra VIP Lounge with the Kamish, Juan and Rasputin will send out random invites to the attendees of the After Hours. Now, you don't have to take the invitation, obviously, if you don't want to. You, you can say thank, thank you, but no thank you. But if you do want to slide in, and you do want to uh, do some uh, sit-down video chat in the Ultra VIP Lounge, all you have to do is ask or accept the invite. Now, if you accept the invite, you need to be watching the Raider Reaction After Hours through a handheld device through your Facebook app. When you receive your invitation, you turn your face, you turn your handheld device horizontally, 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 not vertical, horizontally, and then hit accept, and you can come right into the Ultra VIP Lounge. That's all it takes. So, we've had some good participation the last several weeks. We've had some nice calls, um, some, some good questions, and I've had some good interviews on the video chat. So, the after hours can be as interactive as you want it to be, or you can just sit back and chill and enjoy the atmosphere. So, that's correct, Jukebox. Even though it is the after hours, the, some children may stumble in. We have a strict no nipple policy on the Raider reaction. Now, if you're into One Nation Live, you're going to have to be viewing it from your personal account because I can't bring you into the page when you're on the page. <laughs> so you have to be viewing it from your personal account or clicked over on as yourself. So I'm going to send Juan and Rasp into the anybody that does want to uh, join via video. And again, I will throw up the call-in number. If anybody would like to call in. So, phone lines are open. And uh, Juan and Rasputin are patrolling the, uh, patrolling the crowd at the after hours and seeing if anybody wants to come into the Ultra VIP lounge. So, let's touch on the most burning, crazy gossip thus far going on. The last few days. Let's touch on that. What do you guys think about the Calvin Johnson Megatron rumors? I mean, obviously, that's the buzz. That's the buzzword for right now. Is, uh, well, is, well, is Megatron going to be a Raider? Me 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 Megatron going to be a Raider? Megatron going to be a Raider? You know how many times in the past week I've been asked if. Megatron is going to be a Raider. Do you have any idea? Oh my God. Oh my. You have no idea how many times I have been asked. Now, if you would have asked me, even as close as a week ago, I would have said, no way in hell, man. No way in hell. But you know what? Things have changed. And Megatron... With the cap room is a possibility. So, it's a lot of clickbait tea. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Well, we have.
grab somebody. One and Rasputin have grabbed somebody, but it's black. So I don't know if he's if he's stealth. Maybe he's a ninja. <laughs> no, nah, it's ninja? Ben. It's me, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Because <laughs> often do you get to talk to a ninja? So I mean, that would be that would be way cool. Ben, it's uh, Josh, man. How you doing, buddy? Oh, all right, man. What's up? How's your baby, man? He's doing well. He's doing well, man. How are you doing? So Josh good, is a uh, fellow member of the Florida Raider Nation, as myself. So uh, we, we've, uh, we've watched a Raider game or two together. Yeah, I literally watched this. I got to get out of bed for this one, man. I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to get Megatron, I'm telling you. Give me one second, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we, we can't see in his underwear. Um, yeah, that's what, hey, that's how it happens at the after hours, man. At least we got audio. I don't care because half the people call in anyway and don't want to go on video anyway. So, I, hey, man, whatever works. If you want to use the video so I can just catch audio, I don't care. But, all right. Well, I'm going to have to add him back in if he wants to be back in, man. One rule, you come in the ultra VIP lounge, you got to bring the fire, right? Everybody knows that's the only freaking rule. You got to bring the fire. There was no fire there. That was not a spark. It was it was snuffed. <laughs> so, Juan and Rasputin, I'm sorry, Josh. Juan and Rasputin escorted you out. So, when, when you're ready to, you got your, we, we can't leave, we can't leave everybody hanging. That's, that's no fun. <laughs> rule number one. Always bring the fire. That's that's the only rule. We gotta keep him. Gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep it moving. Nobody wants to sit and watch me just sit here. Good lord, we gotta be talking some Raiders. So, back to Megatron. Megatron's an eleven million dollar cap hit for Detroit. So when he left, it freed up eleven million dollars. So let's see what T thinks about Megatron. What? Yo yo, what's up? What's, what's up, up Commish? So what do you think much, about man. this Megatron rumor that keeps uh, keeps popping up that everybody keeps asking me about? Uh, I'm going to tell you straight up, man. Uh, I think it's a bunch of clickbait. Um, you know, like I said before in one of my videos in the past that it seems like the Raider Nation always seems to be interested in a player that always gets released from a different team, like Eric Berry couple of the defensive players, you know? I mean, I'm not going to believe it until I see him signing the contract, shaking hands with Reggie McKenzie. You know what I mean? Oh, I totally agree. But until now, it's... And we don't need him. I agree with Watts. Hey. We don't need him. But it's just, it's the, it's I'm, the rumor of the day, though. You know? <laughs> I'm, just curious, I'm just as curious as the Raider Nation is, you know? I mean, we don't really need him. We're stacked on offense already. If anything, we need a middle linebacker or another defensive player or a defensive back, you know? Why not? Yeah, yeah. true. True. Absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. I, it's just the rumor of the day. So, you know, I'm curious what everybody Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Kamis, would you – you personally, would you want him on a team even though we're stacked – like, no, I don't know. You know, I honestly, I, I find myself asking myself the same thing. I don't know. It's intriguing because you think about it. Because Marshawn was different. Marshawn came in and there was a hole waiting. We needed the hole filled. We don't have a hole for Calvin Johnson. So, right, right. We, we signed Cordero Patterson. I like Seth Roberts. I don't think he sucks. I think he could be okay. And yeah, I agree with you on that one, too. I like Seth Roberts. So, and, you know, hey, Signing, to- signing, Mega- signing Megatron is just going to put a lot of competition with our starting receivers. Crabtree, Cooper, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. True. I, and I agree with Josh. Patterson has picked up a lot for special teams. But I think they're going to use him, man. He's a deep threat. He, he is a, he's a big, fast guy. He, he can go deep. So... You know, we don't we don't really need to use him in the slot. He can be in the outside, the wideout, you know. 
with his size, his speed, you know, we can throw some mixed plays in there, kind of uh, throw off the defense on the other team. Oh, yeah, for never, sure. I, I completely agree. I mean, he doesn't have to be in the slot. We can have him, you know, uh, on the outside or – have like a five a five man formation, five receivers. You know, just a lot of a lot of trickery plays, man, that I see this year in the offense and the defense. Yeah, I I mean, I'm I'm excited about this season. I'm I'm glad it's so it's so close, man. It's like right here. Yeah. The thirty first yep. is the first practice in full pads. That's like the start of the season for me. That's like the day that <clears throat> there's people hitting each hey. other. Right, and you know what's you know what's funny is that a lot of people don't really care too much for preseason because you know it doesn't really count as far as the schedule. But you know, we us Raider Nation, we're ready. We we've been waiting ever since our season was over last year. You know, and we're excited to see who are who the people are going to make the rosters, the rookies, the undrafted free agents. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people don't care too much for preseason. You know what I mean? I like preseason. I get, I'm, I'm, per, I'm, I'm always excited for the first game, and then you watch the first game, and you're like, ah. But you know, it gets better because that third game, the third game is exciting. Now the fourth game, I, the fourth game is you, they can just might as well throw that game out because that the fourth game is terrible usually, but the first three are pretty good. But yeah, yeah, like uh, Tana said, man, I'm just excited for football. Like you really, oh, you know, oh. it's football. Just Raiders on the field. Just, oh, to see Silver and Black back on the football field. I just, yeah. Hey, Kamish, uh, I got to do something, but uh, thanks for having me on, bro. You bet. No problem, Appreciate man. You. Always, T. Thanks for jumping in, bro. Yep. Appreciate it. T's a regular on uh, popping in on the Raider Reaction After Hours, man. Always appreciates when he uh, pops in and it takes a minute. So we'll uh, send it back out there. We'll let Juan and Rasputin roll back around and see if anybody else wants to jump in the VIP lounge. Um, I'll throw up the call-in number, but uh, just know I won't answer the call if somebody's on the video. So, you know, or vice versa. I will not answer the call if somebody's on the call. So, but if you're the first one, get in, you're in. But only one is allowed. The Ultra VIP lounge at the time. Commish. Oh, there he is. He's not Yeah, my there. bad, bro. <laughs> What's up, ninja, ninja stealth. Dude, I popped up out of bed, man. My wife's yelling at me. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, yo, man, I got to talk to Ben, dude. I'm like, I'm all fired up. Oh, my wife, I'm, in the, my wife's in I'm in the office right now. Check it out. I'm saying. I've been saying, too. So, yeah, it's okay. So, I have my background right there. Here we go. How's that look? All right. He's even prepared. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. How you been, bro? I'm all right, man. How you doing? Good, bro. We're excited, man. You know, Raider Nation, love you guys. Love all of you everywhere, man. Oh, and I'm excited. You know, we, you know, us here in Florida, you know, we got our new spot here. And, um, man, we just basically took over a Bills bar. You know yes, that, right? Yes, we did. We completely hijacked. <laughs> we completely hijacked a Bills bar. And if we're making it now the home of the Florida Raiders. That's right, right, baby. In one season. You know what? You know what? I, feel, I feel bad for Bills fans, you know, because we were there. We were losing team for a long time, man. So, And I'm from New York originally, you know. So I give Bills love, man. No, no disrespect, you know. But they're still going to join it with us. But, man, no. I mean, in regards to Megatron, man, I would love Megatron on this team. I mean, come on. Seriously. Well, it's, I, it's I can't imagine it's one intriguing. person saying no. But there's only so many balls to go around, so. All right. Well, like I said, you know, Patterson, Patterson was brought on more for special teams and a slot receiver. But, I mean, man, like I said, you know, if you get a Megatron in there, you put, uh, I mean, come on, man. Look at that trio. I know. I mean, we don't need him. We don't need him. But if he wants to come on board and cars, well, cars. I agree. If he in, wants to come on board and he'll come on board at the right price because he just wants to get a ring. Then I'm I'm all for it too. I'm really all for it. I, that's what we're all about. The ring. That's it. Yeah. It's, that's it's it's ring or bust. If he's I mean, coming with the attitude of hey man, I'm just here to help and let's win a championship. Then oh my god, do I want him on the team? Yeah, let me put this that's way. That's his attitude. I know fans are you know I got friends that are fans of the Lions, right? One or two. And my dude, best friend's like, a Lions fan. Yeah, it's like I don't. 
it's it's tough, you know, when it's like, oh man, you know, we he just wants to win a ring, or at least be in contention, and and that was like Randy Moss when he was with us. It was the same thing, you know. We get this lead guy, and he's just like, I can't play for you guys. This is bullshit. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's after hours. Okay, it's after hours. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying, right? So I feel the guy. I feel what he's saying, you know, and I feel bad. And, you know, Barry Sanders quit early from the Lions, you know? Yeah. But there is a there is a pulse going on right now with this team, okay? And I'm telling you right now. Absolutely. Tell me I'm crazy, but I think 10 and 6, that's where we're going. And I still think we're going to be a better team than the 10 and 14 six? from last really? year. You got us that low? I do. I'm thinking 13 and 3. Look at that I schedule, man. I have looked at this schedule so many times, you have no idea. We go 13 and 3. I'm going to break dance. I'm break dancing at 10 and 3, or 13 and 3, man. I'm scared. I'm a little scared of a few games. I'm not scared of the Patriots. I'm more worried about week one, to be honest with you. Week Those one Titans, is a scary man. game. I'm telling you, it's a scary game too. I think it's going to be a shootout. It's it's a little. I'm a little. Yeah. It's a possible trap game. I agree. But I it's, think it's, if we could... win that game, we win the next three, and we're four and zero. Well, we know we're going to beat the Jets. I mean, come on. If we don't beat the Jets, then I'm 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 going to flip out. But my question is, do you think our defense is picked up with Con um, uh, the Oh yeah, Darren yeah, yeah, yeah. Connelly? It's, and I saw that guy um, that we got, uh, Obi. I don't even want to his last name. <laughs> Thank you, Commission. I, I remember I posted on our site and I said, "Dude, he's on NFL Network." Yes, that he dude is, is man. awesome. I've been trying to ca- I've been trying to catch that stuff so I can uh, I can share it back up. Oh. I caught uh, I caught Marshawn Lynch on the um, on the Nickelodeon Kids Choice the other night because my kids were watching it. Man, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, DVR, DVR." <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm Remember excited, man. Right I, I think Reggie is just doing his job, man, really, really well. So I'm excited. I'm hoping these guys are really going to pick it up, man, and fill in those little gaps that we need, man. We can't be giving up the big plays like we've been doing. No, um, no, no. You know, our offensive line has been has been amazing, but our, you know, we get a Mario Edwards Jr. now healthy. Oh. You know, I'm we'll be so a lot excited, better, man. We're gonna be a lot better on so defense excited. this year. The coaching, there's been coaching shifts on defense. There's been positional shifts. We've had players in the holes where we needed them. I think the defense is gonna be a lot better this season. A lot, a lot better. I want, I want to get rid. Oh, don't, sorry, that's my comic book. But yeah, here, here we go. Here's this Kenny Stabler. All right, we got. Yeah, we got the three Super Bowls. Nice. Good view of that. That's my office, man. All right, here we right. go. Okay. Well, anyway, brother, I'll leave it up for somebody else, man. But I'm just all right, man. Thanks for jumping on. Hey, every Thursday night we uh, we 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 switch the format up. This is what we do every Thursday night. So I I I, I'm trying to set plant the seed now. So during the season, I hope this is a hot hour, man. During the season, where we can just all get on here and everybody can join me and vent and (laughs) or hopefully just gloat every week. Like, yeah, who's the next beaten? Who's the next beaten? <laughs> and hopefully it's Kansas City. Going to three games, by the way, this year. Three games. Three right away. Right on, man. Right on. All right, cool, Chris. Man. You bet. Later, Raider Later. All right. So, it's opened up. Let's let me throw the phone line number back up. Calling numbers up. And uh, video is open for the Ultra VIP Lounge. What guy am I looking for to be a major contributor on the defense? Well, obviously, I Khalil Mack. I mean, that, that that's that's not a fair answer. But uh, I think Bruce is really going to step it up this season. I have a feeling he's going to really step it up and be a um, be a force, possibly a, a bigger force than he's been. So, I, I think he's going to be a force. And I, I tell you what, man, I'm high on our defensive backs. I don't think our defensive backs are that bad. 
I'm high on our defensive backs. Renzi Nelson's playing like he's a man. He knows he's at the end of the career, and he wants to keep his damn job. And he's playing like it. Carl Joseph, minus the injury last season, was had a spectacular rookie season. Spectacular. It's a... Uh, I don't think it's as bad a situation as it is. And I know I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it. But Rod Woodson coaching the cornerbacks is going to make a difference this season. The, the shifting of the defensive coaches is going to make a, a difference this season. Pagano is going to make a difference this season. There is going to be change on the defensive side of the ball. There has been focus made on the defensive side of the ball. There will be change on the defensive side of the ball. I'm telling you. I agree, Michael. He's going to stay. And I agree with you, Al. 100%. Al, don't get anything for you too faded tonight. I do believe you was a little faded, if I remember last time. So, hope, hope you I hope y'all are. Right. But, uh, I agree. I agree with you. I think Sean Smith is going to step up. Sean Smith is a talented guy. It's not that he didn't have any talent. He looked like he was confused and really didn't understand the scheme where he was supposed to be. It's not that you just don't lose talent and speed. He's a fast guy and he's talented. It's not that he couldn't be in the proper position. He just wasn't. So it's his second year. He's got Rod Woodson coaching him. He's got great – he's got guys around him. I think he's going to make a big improvement in his second year with Oakland. A big improvement. I really, really do. So, we will see. We will see. But, again, you throw the call-in number up. If anybody wants to use it. Just in case somebody does use it. <laughs> throw it up there, throw it up there. And uh, if Juan and Rasputin happens to hit you up for an invite, turn your device horizontal and hit accept. Or, politely, decline. No big deal. You can obviously just hang out in the after hours and soak up the atmosphere, or you can join in and come in the Ultra VIP Lounge, whatever you prefer. So I've been asking, and what everybody thinks as... Of course he will, Raider Mike. I'm telling you, man. That guy's the top 50 player of all time. You just having that, just being able to talk to that guy. Marshawn. Josh, I have Marshawn at 1,100 yards. I do think he'll hit the 1,000 because he has an incentive clause to hit 1,000. So I do think we'll hit 1,000. I do not think Marshawn is going to be a statistical freak this season. I do not think he should be high on your fantasy draft board. He may be okay for some touchdowns in short yardage, but Marshawn is, to me, Marshawn is going to be an impactful player, a very impactful player, but not so much a statistically impactful player. His impact is going to be in the locker room, on the field, the leadership, the guy that you can give it to on short yards to get the first down when you need it, the guy that can control the clock when you need it to grind out games at the end, the guy that can mix it up for you when you need to keep your passing game going. He's the guy you give it to when you're deep in the red zone and you just need to get the six. Marshawn is so many things, but he doesn't have to be the guy that totes the rock 30, 35 times. He doesn't have to be that guy. And he's not expected to be that guy. We've got a prolific offense. We've got wide receivers. We got a tight. We have a prolific offense. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't need to do all of that, and that's not what he's brought there for. So, I I think he'll get 1,100 yards. He may be a little steep in the touchdown category, it's, which may make him a little fantasy relevant. But I think he's going to be that fantasy football guy, running back. If you have him on your team, that pisses you off. He's going to be the guy that will get a touchdown every once in a while. So he gets that six, just enough for you to keep him in the roster, 
but he never gets the, the yards to couple with it on combining weeks. And you're constantly – he has yard, good yards one game, but doesn't get the touchdown. Da, 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 da. He's going to be that choppy points through the season. That's – so fantasy-wise, I'd steer clear of him. I'm not drafting him. But I say he gets 1,100 yards. Defensive coordinator, prepare for us. That's a good question, Josh. Look at you with the hard-hitting, edgy questions. All up at night. See, now I got you up at night. Now you got, you got your brain churning. <laughs> Peace out, Raider Mike. I got to get up early, too. My wife says I'm insane for doing this after-hour show, but I love the after-hour show because I can just sit back and I just play off of you guys and I get to have guys on and talk to people. And uh, I love the after-hour show. I don't care about the after-hour show. I know the numbers aren't as good because it's late, but – those that are here want to talk. And uh, you know what? This is this is the time when I get to talk. You know? This is when the time when I get to talk to you. The rest of the time I'm here. You know, I'm talking to you. But I'm here. I'm here with an agenda. And I'm bringing you the news. And I got interviews for you. And, uh, you know, I try to give you a show every night. But here, this, this, the after hours on One Nation Live, this is a totally different thing, man. It's it's not it's not all about the numbers. Although I do want to bring some uh, help, bring some you know attention from the Raider Nation over here to One Nation Live. And uh, thank you, Raider Mike. Always appreciate it, man. He's a loyal Mike's a low, loyal viewer. He watches the show frequently, and uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hold on. All right. Hold on, JD. So, uh, but uh, that's what I'm saying. That's why I like the I like the One Nation Live. And, you know, oh, what's up, J.D.? Hey, dog, how you got home, man? I was kind of getting ready to pick it back in the bed. But I saw that invite come in, and I figured I'd jump on. As far as Marshawn, I say Marshawn going to do, and Cooper agrees with me. All Cooper right. says Marshawn, 1,300 yards. And 14 to 16 touchdowns. And Carr says the same thing, too. See, right here, look. Carr <laughs> says the same thing, too. So, nice. those are my girls, man. Got the sidekicks. Now, those are my sidekicks. All right. Oh, hey. Chihuahuas, right? Chihuahuas? Uh, Chirussels. Chihuahua Chirussels. Jack Russell mix. Chirussels. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Chirussel. I used to have Chihuahuas. I had a chihuahua that I, I, we bred, and I, yeah, I had a couple letters from it. When I got her, she was Back one pound, two yeah, ounces. Was... Goodness. They look like a chihuahua, though, but... Huh. She's chihuahua. She looks chihuahua. Come here. Come here, Cooper. And she looks Jack Russell. And they're Let's sisters. See. This is where we end up on the after hours. It's the, it's the Raider Nation Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> um, <laughs> how do I feel about the new look defense? I like the new look defense. I think Pagano's a, a major factor, major impact on that defense. Pagano is Pagano's an immediate, immediate, immediate. Um, Improvement by himself alone. Just Pagano coming in is so an immediate too. improvement. I think so too. I think it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I think it's going to be interesting. I I think the defense is going to be much improved. You've got it's anchored by the defensive player of the year, and he's only getting better. That's well, the anchor. <laughs> here's the funny. Here's the funny thing that you know. I mean, with. Uh, Mario Edwards coming back healthy. Jelly coming back healthy. Vanderhoes on the line. He might he might be limited to some snaps, but you put some pressure on you put some pressure on that defensive line and you free up that double team, that triple team on, on both on both sides. You free up that double team on uh, on one side or the other. You're gonna free up that triple team on, on Mac and you unleash Mac and, and put him up one on one. Just think of what he's going to do when he gets to uh, to Denver, and he's going to and he's going to have to face Melody Watson. 
Yeah. Yeah. You got to run over him. That's what's <laughs> well, That's what Mel, Melody happen. gave up. Melody gave up what? Uh, 13, 13 sacks last year. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna straight run over that dude, man. It's gonna be ugly. He's gonna love to say hello to him. Oh yeah. And, 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 as soon as I mean, he got there, Watson started started talking smack. As soon as he got there. What's up, Captain? So, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It's going to be a uh, – I just can't wait, J.D. It's getting close, my man. The season's almost here finally. Well, see, actually for, for us, today's the 20 – for us, it's the 21st. For the West – the people out there on the West Coast, it's still the 20th. So we're one, we're one day ahead of them. We're one day closer. Yes, we're all re- it is technically <laughs> the 21st right now. It's 12.37 a.m. where I'm at. That's right. We're, we're, we're officially on the 21st. We're offic- we are officially down to eight days till the start of camp. Yeah, it's, it's after midnight, and I'm still up talking to the Raiders. That's how, that's how excited I am about the season, man. <laughs> that's how excited I am. I can't wait for this season. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm still putting the, I'm still putting the works in for the the season opener, man. I really want to be at the season opener. I want to drive up there and do do a bunch of live streaming before the game and talk to a bunch of fans. I just think that would be, uh, yeah, I think that'd be badass. So, but I'm working it. How many games are you going to this year? I'm going to catch uh, Denver, New York. And the cow patties. Oh, nice. Denver at home or Oakland? In Oakland. Nice. Nice. I'm not sure. I know I'm at the Miami game for sure. And I really want to be at the Tennessee game. I know I'm not going to make a West Coast trip this season because we got the little guy. He's only going to be months old. You know, so I know I'm not, I'm, it's not in the works this year. It sucks, but it's just not. Look, if we look, make... look. Just put the little guy in the backpack, strap him to the <laughs> chest, get in the, get in the car, get him his Raider hat, and put him at his first Raider game. Boom. Dude, his first Raider game, J.D., his first Raider game is going to be the Miami game. He's coming. No, no, I'm, I'm referring to his first Raider game in Oakland. Oh, yeah, in Oakland. I know. It sucks. It sucks. I don't like that his first game is not going to be in Oakland. Cause I waited for I waited for uh, Commissioner Junior to take him until he was uh, what was he eight? I waited till he was eight because I would not let him go to a Raiders game until it was a home Raiders game. So and and, I and, thought he was uh, old enough to take him at eight. I don't know. I don't know if you catch my comments when you and little Commissioner are doing uh or Commissioner Junior are doing your show. Oh yeah, I usually go back and read him. Yeah, but you really need to turn him loose because he does a phenomenal job by himself. He don't need you helping him. I know he does it. <laughs> Kid's smart. I've been trying I... to turn him loose a little more on the sh- on the show when he's calling the games because he's cracking me up, man. Because he's oh. catching, he's catching stuff that I don't see, like the phone receiver last week he caught, and then the uh, the dude kicking with the naked leg. He did he he was cracking me up, man. Because he's, he's looking at it through different eyes than us, you know. Yeah. To me, it's a phone receiver. I didn't think nothing of it. He's like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he's, he's, he's looking, he's looking at, at football back in back 20 years ago before he was even thought of, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 fun. it's fun watching it with him, man. I, I ain't going to lie. I've really enjoyed it. And I found a, I found a hookup that got, has a, a ton of uh, DVDs transferred to DVD. Uh, footage of entire game footage of old games from the 70s, regular mm-hmm. season games, playoff games, wild card games, divisional championships, all from the 70s and early 80s. Full television broadcasts. So I'm going to be, oh, I've got some nice oh, flavor dude. coming for Silver and Black Theater, oh, man. It's going to be cool. So it'll give um, us a little uh, a little nostalgia on Friday nights. We can, we can sit right. back and have, have a little nostalgia. Oh, and by the way, Stephanie, I saw your comment. I just, I didn't ignore you, darling. Oh, Commission, Commission's doing Thank a fantastic you. job with that little guy, man. Bringing no, him up, bringing him up right, man. He know, <laughs> and, the, and the funny thing is, is that he I, I was sitting there watching him. He's, he's going, that's Plunkett. That's so-and-so. 
than so and so. And he's calling he's calling players that players that retired before he was even born. 15, 20 years awesome. before he was even born. And he's looking at him, he's going, that's so and so, that's so and so. And he's just dude, he's spot on. I tell you what, Didi, I'm not gonna lie. Everybody wants everybody that has a son obviously wants him to grow up and be a sports fan and wants him. My son, since he has been like six, he is the most fun kid to go to a sporting event with. He is the most fun person, period, to go to a sporting event with. Because from the second it starts to the second it ends, he is in it a hundred percent. He wants to know everything about it. It don't matter if it's hockey, baseball, basketball, football, college, arena football. We were at an arena football game, and Tampa Bay Storm was whooping Orlando like 70-something to 20. And he would not allow us to leave until it hit zeros. <laughs> he stood at the doorway, and he's like, no, I got to see it end. And I'm like, he's, a, he's so much fun, man. He's, he's a blast to go to games with. I bet he is. I bet he is. He's- He's fun, man. He's fun. He, he's a good kid. And I hope my other little guy, I, I got to I gotta mold him right in behind the other one. So, uh, well, you know, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. So. If, 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 big, if, big, if Big Brother if big brother plays it right, you know, how old is Big Brother? He's going to be 11 next month. So he's 10 right now. Uh, well, by the time he's two, by the time he's two, he'll be 13. He can just bring him right along. Remember oh, yeah. what dad did for you. Just do it for him, you know. Oh, he'll, uh, oh yeah, he'll, he'll be drug right in because, you know, he's, he's already going to be at, we go, we're going to be at four hundred Raider Nation events and everything all season and, you know, so, and games and he, he's, he's going to be growing up around it no matter where he's at. So, yep. That's the way it is. So, well, all right, JD, man. Thanks for jumping on. I appreciate Please it. Appreciate it. I'm out. You bet, man. The rest of your evening, my man. All right. So, what do we got? We got 16 minutes left. 16 minutes left. Got a call in number open. If you want to go audio style, old school. If you want to get in on the video, all you got to do is let me know. Let me know. So, man, it is an exciting time to be a Raider fan. Exciting time to be a Raider fan. We were on the cusp of such a great season. And, you know, just like talking with JD, you know, about uh, little Kamish Jr., man, my, my oldest son. It's a great time for him to be growing up with his dad as a Raider fan, man. It's it's just great because he's just he's hooked in right now. He's so excited, man, about the team and, you know, because they're a great team when he's watching. They're they're doing well and they're winning, and that just hooks a kid in, man. The whole atmosphere hooks a kid in. He's been to quite a few games. Oh, Captain, Captain, you, you dogging my? I am I am sorry. I know my my buddies drag me to these uh, craft beer houses all the time, and they've got these you know like World of Beer and all these other ones, and they got these walls of beer, and I'm like. What's the closest thing you got to Bud Light? Because that's what I want. <laughs> I'm that guy, Captain. I'm that guy. So j- just so you know, this is my this is my brew. <laughs> so you be dogging on my brew now. But I drink it, and I will drink it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> PB Army ASAP. <laughs> Now, that's some stuff there, man. At least it ain't no, uh... At least it ain't no, uh... You're going to the Chargers game on New Year's Eve. Wow. That would be a fun game to be at, man. That would be a fun game to be at. Josh, are you going to the Tennessee game? Titans game. See, because I have a plan, man. I've been trying to pull JD Enigma in with me to this, uh, because he, he's going too, and he lives in Miami. 
So it only makes sense for us to uh, to road trip as the great American uh, Raider road trip and, and, and video that stuff, man, and stream it all the way to, to Tennessee, to the Tennessee takeover and just have a go out and meet fans and – and I really, I really want to pull it off. I've not, I've not put that to rest yet. I really want to be at the season opener. I think I can pull it off. So uh, we'll, we'll be see. We'll see. We'll see. Just having the little guy this season just throws a whole monkey wrench in everything. Throws a whole monkey wrench in everything. It really does. Yes, but it doesn't mean you can't, Josh. That doesn't mean you can't. You just haven't planned yet. Just just haven't found it yet. So. But I'm working on it. I don't know, Captain. I'm I'm working on it. I don't know. I'm only, I would only need one ticket for myself because I wouldn't bring another family with me. It'd just be a, a road trip with whatever fans I find that were going that way. And uh, that would just be what it is. Um, you know, that's why if I'm trying, you know, Jay's driving up that way. And, you know, we've mentioned it a couple times. Wayne and I are nothing down. It's it's a ways out yet. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a procrastinator. I, I usually set things up at the last minute. Although tickets are what I usually nail down first, but details I don't usually nail down to the last minute. That's just the way I roll. <laughs> but I always make sure I got the tickets in hand. Details, I can deal with details later. I just I make sure I got tickets in hand. That's all I really care about. Tickets in hand. So, uh, any burning question you guys got? Are we going to black it out? Oh, for sure, Josh. Absolutely, we're going to black that out, man. It's going to be like the San Diego game at the end of the season last year where the San Diego players were just appalled when they were walking off the field by what was going on and uh, how their home stadium was just taken over. They were appalled. It's going to be the same thing. You know, the, uh, the move from San Diego to L.A. was not well received by that fan base. Not well received at all. And uh, there's a uh, it's a little bit of a rift in that fan base, and uh, it's going to uh, I don't think it's going to be good for them this season. I've uh, I've been harassed by some Chokers fans today because I put the uh, Raider reaction we had the meme for our day that we put out, and it was the the Chokers fans, you know, with the, the three Stooges and what have you. It's a funny little stab at the Chokers fans and their and uh, their pathetic uh, draft room. And the, the debacle of buying the damaged goods that is Mike Williams. So I've, I've been going back and forth and jabbing with that because I shared that meme to a, uh, a ton of NFL groups today. And uh, so I've been going back and forth with Chokers fans all day. And, they, you know, they're a very optimistic bunch for the most part. But they're going to – they're, they're so going to suck, man. They were 5-11 last season. And they didn't improve anywhere. The biggest improvement they added to their team is probably not even going to play this year. Man, Captain, I'm trying to – I'm wanting to go, man. I I just think it would be – I want to go. I've been to games in Tennessee before. I, ha, I That's why I know I know it's a, it's a fun atmosphere. I've been there for a couple games. I've watched the Raiders play there before. And I know it's a fun atmosphere. Um, man, we went to some – we got absolutely hammered and went to this uh, country western bar where they were singing like original Hank Williams songs up there, like karaoke. Like, you know, <laughs> hello, Wolf. Like that old school stuff, man. It was crazy. And uh, it, it was a fun experience. It was, and we straight cleared a section at the stadium because we were putting the boots to him that last game that I seen us playing. Tennessee, that was back when we had Kerry Collins. And, uh, we were going up against McNair that game, and we, we, we lit him up, man. It was great. It was, a, it was a great game. That was the last time I've seen a game in Tennessee. My goal is to see the Raiders play in every stadium in the NFL. So some that I've already seen, I have to go watch again now because the stadiums are gone. Some teams have new stadiums that I've already seen. So I got to go, uh, you know, I got to go. So. 
We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting, though. I, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this season, man. But uh, really excited. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. There's not too much Raider news I don't see, Josh. I comb so much stuff for this show. To, I tell you what, to come up with five hours, because the, the, the Raider, the after hours is, I don't really have to even think about the after hours because I come on here and this, this is just, you know, you guys come on and I, I talk to you guys and I don't have to, you know, it's not a really planned one show, but the other, I have to come up with five hours of stuff to talk about in the middle of the off season. There ain't a lot to talk about in the middle of the off season. So there's not a whole lot of Raider juice that I have not squeezed the life out of. <laughs> oh, Captain, I tell you what, bro. I got I got a funny connection to the Atlanta Stadium. I'm working on a very, very large project here in, uh, the, in where I live. A large project. I don't really like to talk about it because you know, it is what it is. But I'm working on a very large project, something similar to the size of that. And um, same engineering firm is running both. And they designed said stadium. Well, they were having a huge problem because it basically has a mechanical butthole on the top of it. A mechanical sphincter, shall we say, that opens and closes like an oculus. But it basically looks like a big mechanical sphincter. And the thing all, it all looks stupid. Well, the mechanical sphincter that was designed by said engineering club, they could not figure out how to get said sphincter to work properly for like six months to the point where they didn't even know if they were going to be able to start to stay the season in their new stadium because they couldn't get their mechanical sphincter to work. <laughs> I think they finally got their, I think they finally got their pucker to work, but no. I, the inside is, is very nice. I ain't going to lie. The inside is nice. It's got the total wraparound screen. The inside is beautiful. The outside, that thing is ugly as hell, man. That thing is ugly as hell. I'm sorry. It's ugly as hell. You can all tell me, Atlanta fans, that you little dirty bird, that it looks nice, but it's ugly as hell. <laughs> it's ugly as hell. I hope it looks nice on the inside. It's like the, it's like the fat girl of stadiums. It just, her personality's great. She, it's all the it's on the inside that matters. It's the fat girl of NFL stadiums. You're Atlanta Falcons, 2017. <laughs> you put that. You need to put that on a. Oh man, I gotta. That's my next meme. <laughs> Oh, the Atlanta Falcons Stadium is the fat girl of NFL stadiums. It's nice on the inside. It's beautiful on the inside. All its beauty is on the inside. Oh, nobody else would get it, but like, you know, the handful of us that are just seniors. <laughs> but to us, it would be hilarious. The, ooh, this bandana, Jeff. I, oh, man. Everybody asks me where I get all these, all this stuff because I, I, I'm, I'm a constant, I'm a Raiders swag collector, man. If I see someone, and I, and I peruse these crazy back doors and uh, all the go, and I find all these crazy. Th I would buy these hats from everywhere, man. I got this, uh, I got this one. It's a vintage Los Angeles Raiders hat. It's even got the green, man. It's a vintage. It's the Reebok vintage collection. To go with my uh, Marcus Allen uh, eighty four, so I've been I've been finding all all this stuff. But this, I, man, I can't remember what the guy's name is, but I'll, I'll have to look it up. It was um, I found it online, may have been on, I believe it was on eBay. But they're handmade, man. He it's the they apply. The, I've got another one, an all black one. That's even it's even sweeter, man. That's just an all shield. That's just got the shield on it. But uh, it's made by a custom hat shop, and uh, yeah, they're sweet, man. And they weren't that much either. I think they were only like six or seven bucks a piece. So, uh, man, I'll have to look it up now. I'm terrible about remembering uh, stuff like that because somebody else asked me where I got my jersey, and I, I buy stuff from so many different websites I can't even remember because there's so many, you know, 
like bootleg and side side you know shop selling stuff that's Raiders gear, but not really authentic stuff. But uh, yeah, I stumbled across these, and I was like, "Score, man! Like six or seven bucks. Get out of here. I'll take one of those and one of those." But you can get them in whatever color you want and whatever you know. So I got one with the Raiders and the logo, and then I got one with the logo. So. I got one of each color and uh, captain strong words, captain, but I like your optimism. Mexico will be the easiest game of the year. He says, I like your optimism, my brother. I'm telling you, man, they're going to come back to reality. They're going to come back to reality. Father time is undefeated. He's going to catch up with Brady. I'm telling you, man, freaking telling you, it's going to happen. I ain't gonna lie. Why would I lie to you? <laughs> but it catches up with everybody. It catches up with everybody. So. Well, you know what? I had some good guests. Come on, the, uh, the One Nation Live After Hours again. Ready to reaction after hours. I can't wait till it gets to the season because you guys are going to want to come on and you're going to want to vent. And you're going to want to complain about things. And you're going to want to gloat when we whoop up on teams. So I can't. I want to keep this going because I think this is this show's building momentum. And uh, like I said, I don't care as much about the numbers. Because I know you guys that watch all week long. And uh, you really have things you want to get off your chest and say and talk about. You'll show up and you'll want to talk. And you're really, that's really all I want, man. I like this show because I like to talk with the Raider Nation. And uh, this gives me a chance to talk with you. Just like we're sitting down at the at the after bar, at the after hours. We've seen the show, and you just happen to run into me afterwards. Like, hey, what's up, man? Let's just sit and talk some silver and black. It's what we love, man. It's what we all love. And it's you guys that, uh, you know, it's you guys that keep me doing it. Because if, uh, if I didn't have people to talk to and to do a show for, what the heck would I be doing? I'd be here talking to myself. Then they put me in a straight jacket and haul me away. <laughs> so, appreciate you stopping in. Appreciate you using your invitation and coming to the after hours. Every late night, Thursday night on One Nation Live, you are invited to the Raider Reaction After Hours. So, as always, now don't forget. Five nights a week on Oakland Raiders football. 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 Eastern, is Raider Reaction. And tomorrow, the Commission of the Commiss Jr. bring you the second half of the 1981 Super Bowl. Raiders-Eagles in Silver and Black Theater. So make sure you check it out tomorrow, man. We brought some nostalgia, and we remember the Raider greats of old as the Commission of the Commiss Jr. bring you Silver and Black Theater tomorrow night on Oakland Raiders football. 7 o'clock Pacific. 10 o'clock Eastern. Until then, thank you for joining me the After Hours. I'm out. Peace, love. Raider Nation.